Hello, my name is Mark Seelinger. I am here to give you a quick sneak preview of one of our wetland classes. It's a little sneak peek at our wetland hydrology design class. The way to take a look at this uh, site is at wetland.com. It's wet-land.com, as you can see up here. And this is the Swamp School website for the actual online classes that we offer. Now, we have a whole bunch of classes listed here, and these are our, our classes. We have a few free sample classes, classes on wetlands, GIS, watershed planning, carbon banking, real estate, and so forth. Once you're logged in, as you can see, I'm logged in here already, it actually gives you a menu of the classes that you've actually signed up for, as you can see in my courses. So the class that we're going to take a look at is the wetland hydrology design. And once you get this opened up, this takes you right to the class. Now the class is set up as a topic outline as opposed to a schedule. So you can take this at your own schedule, but basically what it's going to do is it's going to cover the topics. And as you can see, we have things, introduction of water budgets, rainfall runoff calculations, evapotranspiration, groundwater, design, hydrology, uh, then the final exam and some certificates and other things like that. There's some resource information on the side here. There's an example of a textbook that this, this does come with the class, but we do give you at least a sneak peek at that. Um, a couple promo stuff here on the side. Uh, your grades, courses that you're signed up for, all this stuff is, is in here. We have chats, forums, wikis, all kinds of other resources here so that you can take a look at it. If you want to take a look at who else is signed up in the class at the time, you're, you're also in there as well. Now to give you a quick rundown of what you can expect, you'll see that most of these topics kind of follow a standard procedure here. We have, for example, introduction of water budgets. We have a video presentation. We're going to give you a quick quiz on that, some resource material on the hydrologic cycle, maybe even an additional video presentation through here. And as you can see, some different sources here. The little F here is the flash format. If we link you up to another site, stream flow data, surface water data, some calculators, we've got PDFs in here, lots of different stuff, again, uh, going through this. Now, we also get to the textbook assignments because we do have textbook, and in each one of these, what we're going to do is give you, and for example, pick chapter five here, we might have a section on here which you, you can, you know, basically read the entire chapter, but there's no quiz. Okay, so we're going to give you an idea of what's there. Uh, other sections, we may just have you read a, a section of the, of the chapter, and it's just going to be page 565 to 581, okay? and so we don't need to cover the whole thing. And then the quiz is just going to be some specific questions related to that, so you'll have, have that as well. So you're, you're in good shape there. Uh, to give you a quick sample of what one of the videos looks at, let's just pick one. How about just the introduction one here? So let's just run this real quick. All you have to do is click it. It is Flash, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to require that you have your Flash player, which is a free plug-in, but that does need to be installed into your browser. And then once that comes up, you're just going to click this, and it's going to play. So I'm just going to click this real qu quickly and give you one or two slides. Hello, and welcome to the Wetland Hydrology section. Today we're going to be discussing water budgets and some background information on wetlands and their hydrology. Our goals for this class are to learn the current engineering models that are used to estimate wetland hydrology. We need to understand the interrelationship between the physics and the biology of wetlands. We need to prepare a wetland water budget. And finally, we want to be able to design a wetland based upon these hydrology estimates. So what is hydrology? Well, it is simply the science that deals with the distribution properties and circulation of water. This is on land, this is in the soil, within the rocks, in the atmosphere, in the snow, and anywhere else you can find water. So it is simply the study of water and its movement through our environment. Now, what you can do here is you can see I stopped the video, you can, you can bookmark it. It does give you the ability to go back. So if you, you know, the phone rings, you know, you need to go back. You don't have to listen to the whole thing. It does run automatically, and then you can just stop and pick up, and you can slide. You know, as you can see, we can just skip around here and cover different areas, and the video will follow through that. So you're, you'll see the timeline here. This one's about 20 minutes long, so it'll give you kind of an idea also how what what you're in for <laughs> so when you get started. Uh, so that gives you a quick heads up on those. And each one of those is 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 in here as a flash video. The other resources that you might find here, uh, for example, with the, the uh, quizzes, we can run through a quick quiz here. Let's try the uh, potential evaporation transpiration, evapotranspiration quiz. 
and it gives us an attempt quiz now. We click this button and it's going to ask us some questions. And most most of these are a uh, either uh, multiple choice, sometimes they're fill in the blank. It, it's a variety of different types of questions. There is a question bank that these things are feeding from, so if you do this, you're given multiple tries at the quiz, so you're not going to get the exact same quiz every time you run through this. You'll get several different questions, so you'll get some feel for that. And then you can submit. You can save without submitting. You can come back and change your answers, whatever, whatever works for you. The goal of the quiz is, is not to intimidate you with a whole bunch of hard questions, but basically to reinforce the learning and kind of get you to highlight on some of the questions. Some of the quiz questions might go beyond necessarily even the material that's on the site. It may require you to do a little internet research and, and try to find the stuff on your own. And that's the, the reason we're, we're trying to challenge you a little bit. Now we do have a uh, final exam, which is kind of a rehash of some of the quiz questions and some new ones. We also have homework, and this is the water budget assignment and what we basically have done is set up a sample project and you can see there's a site kind of a location here's a potential mitigation site where can we uh, find some more information about it and essentially what we want you to do is to design a wetland based upon that and what you're going to end up doing is uploading a spreadsheet which you can just upload it right into the site and it's a, the spreadsheet is provided basically what you're going to have to do is fill it out so and that's the spreadsheet for your for your water budget once you submit that we take a look at it and this is done manually so this is not an instantaneous thing we're going to take a look at it we'll provide comments if we've got any questions or concerns about what you've come up with uh, for example if you've decided that the entire watershed is is going to supply the site and we think well maybe that's a little bit over ambitious give that's a kind of a heads up by the way uh, maybe you, you need to take a look at where, where water is going and so forth. So you want to take a look at that and then submit your spreadsheet and you're good to go. Once everything is completed, we issue you a class certificate. Now, this class has been approved by the Society of Wetland Scientists PWS program for 20 continuing ed hours. So if you're going for re-upping your PWS or you're going for PWS, this has been approved. Uh, several other disciplines, engineering, architects, so forth, also need those continuing ed hours, and that's essentially we estimate this to be about a, a 20 hour class. But I would not recommend taking this in 20 hours all in one shot. Now, if you get into any trouble during the course of the class, the best way to contact us is to use the help desk. You can submit a help ticket, you open the new ticket, put your name, email address. If you need a phone number or phone call back, you can do that. Your help topic, topic essentially, if you've got some issues there and then subject and, and go forth. That is going to be the quickest response system. Within the site, there are also chats and forums. Uh, you can send a message um, within the site. There's several different other activities you can do, but for contacting our support desk, it, whether it be a technical issue with the site itself or just a question about the content within the site, your help desk is your best choice because you get the fastest response. We try to respond within 24 hours of, of this, so it's not, again, it's not an instantaneous thing, but we'll get back to you as quickly as we can, but this, this sometimes we can get to you within the same day if it's during normal business hours. Well, that's about it for the site. Uh, we hope you um, enjoy the class and check it out, and our other classes are very similar format and approach, so it gives you kind of a flavor for how these classes are set up, and we welcome you uh, with any questions check out our main website which is swampschool.org and that will get you signed up uh, get you signed up through that site and get you registered and learn about wetlands. So thanks and have a great day.